Hey Disney fans, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to take a look at one of the limited edition live action dolls that I have in my collection. That being Alice from Alice Through the Looking Glass. So stay tuned because this doll has tons of amazing detail and I cannot wait to go over it with you. So first we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at her box. As you can see, of course, there's a six plus that's on all of the boxes. And then um, this beautiful design which kind of echoes or mimics the piece that's around her neck. And then the old Disney Store logo. I love that it has all this really cool print work here. A for Alice, all kinds of really neat stuff. Of course, this is a live action limited doll. So you're gonna see a lot of the doll before I'm actually ready to review her, but it has all these really cool panes here. More of the doll is visible in these because of the way that the box is. You can see there she was limited edition of 4,000. So a lower run, but kind of normal for the live action ones. Coming around here, you can again see that same design kind of echoed. I love the little floral motif there. Going up the box, again, we can see more of that really cool design that's on there. These of course have the carrying handle that a lot of people don't use, but I do. It doesn't bother me, they hold just fine. You can see there the Alice Through the Looking Glass logo from the movie. And then here, if you'd like, the bow is kind of in the way, but you can pause it and read it if you'd like to. It does talk a little bit about the doll, the details and all of that. And then there it is again in French. Coming down, certificate, certificate of authenticity and display stand included. And then um, her price, well, is gone. <laughs> Um, I, like I said, I got mine secondhand. I got it on eBay for 50 bucks. So I'm assuming this would have said 129.95. I, I mean, that's how much the live actions were. I don't know if they just tore off the bottom and the top. Cause the bottom part would have said Canada and the top part would have said USA. Anyhow, regardless, it doesn't matter. I didn't pay that much for her. So that's why I'm okay with having this one in my collection because she's gorgeous. So now we'll go ahead. We'll get the plastic part off. So there's no glare and we'll take a really good look at Alice's details. All right, so let's go ahead now and take a look at Alice herself, who is absolutely gorgeous. I love the way that they do the eyes on the live action dolls. They seem to me to be a little bit more detailed than the other ones. Um, there's usually a little bit of highlight uh, in there, made to look a little more glossy. She does have rooted hair and rooted eyelashes, of course. Um, I love her hair piece there. It does have a little embedded jewel on both the circle part there and then a little teardrop shaped one. Her hair is all curly, it's beautiful. I love her hair. She is in her hand holding the chronosphere, so you can see that there. If you've seen the movie, you know what that is and why it's important. Coming down, Alice's bodice area has this amazing, now this is plastic, it is, I mean, it's not like metal or anything, it is plastic, but I love this design. I love the colors, I love the butterflies that are in it. It is an absolutely stunning piece of work here that I just absolutely love it. I love little tassels on it and everything. Coming down to her shirt, it is, ow, it's so stunning. I love the colors, I love the design, the embroidery is out of this world. It's on her sleeves as well, that same embroidery. See that big butterfly right there? It reminds me of like Japanese or Chinese screen printing. It's so gorgeous. So her other parts of her sleeve she does have are uh, pleated and they're like a bright orange with a red trim. And you can see it a little bit better over here, but it does also have these little tassels coming down. Underneath um, is that same, uh, it's like an, this is like an overcoat. I'm sure if I took the doll out of her box, I'd probably be able to see around it a little bit better, of course, but um, I think that does come off. And then of course, underneath is like that orange tunic. Her pants are awesome. They're a pleated material, a dark forest green um, with this really cool, uh, like a brocaded almost um, border on each one. They're coming up a little bit more mint green on my camera. They're a much more green, like grass forest green in real life. I love her, uh, the cuffing part of them that is purple there with a white embroidered trim. And then she does have her um, boots that she has in the movie. So you can see there, really, really cool. I love the background of her box too. You can kind of see that there. It's really, really cool. Um, I love the 3D take that they do on these uh, live action boxes. I think they're really, really awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, usually the live actions, there's not a whole lot to go over with because they're a little more simpler, but her detail, her hair, I love this doll. I think she's beautiful. I, look, I think personally, 
I think this one looks very, very, very close to the actress. I think they did a fantastic job with the face mold on this one. I love it. I think it's beautiful. So this is actually one of my favorite live actions. My absolute favorite is Cinderella. My second favorite is this one. And then my Jasmine's. And then maybe Belle. <laughs> I don't know. I think my live action Aladdin might be better than my live action Belle, but life goes on. They're sitting right there. I love that set. They're so gorgeous. Anyhow, so that is Alice of the 4,000. I did get number 1928. Uh, so kind of a funky little number there, but still kind of fun. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, this one came out in 2016. So it's a little over three years old. But I do love it. And I'm glad that I have it in my in my collection here. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick little review. Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you for joining me on this quick review of Alice the Looking Glasses Limited Edition doll. She is fabulously gorgeous. And I am so glad she's in my collection. I did not get the Erika Beth, I think that's how it's pronounced, or the, or the Queen of Hearts. I have not picked her up yet. Um, just doesn't really flip my switch, I guess, if you will. So she probably will stay wherever she is before I ever buy her because uh, preferences, I guess. <laughs> if you have her, let me know what you think and maybe it'll change my mind, but probably not. I just don't really, first of all, I don't really collect the villains. I only have a couple of them and that's pretty much it. The ones I have are the ones I want. Um, otherwise, I mainly go for the main actresses or princesses, you know, like I have over there. But uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed. If you have her, leave me some comments down below about your thoughts. If you didn't buy her, let me know why. I know price was a big thing for a lot of people. Um, for me, I actually got her way cheaper. I got her for like 50 bucks. So I didn't mind spending 50 bucks on her considering she is limited edition and there is quite a bit of detail on her, even though it isn't a big goofy princess ball gown. So yeah, what are you gonna do, right? Anyhow, guys, if this is your thing, make sure to hit the subscription button as well as the notification bell. We do a lot of limited edition doll reviews on this channel. We do a lot of shopping hauls from Disney Store, Shop Disney. We do a lot of pin mail and pin hauls, a lot of just plain Disney. So make sure to hit that button and, like I said, smash that notification bell. We do try to post as often as I can each week. Sometimes it's only once, but sometimes it's more than that. And we have a lot of fun, so we look forward to you joining the family. Alrighty guys, well I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having a very magical day and we will see you real soon.